Well, good morning. Welcome to the live streaming of Morning Prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church to Cuesta, Florida on this Tuesday, the 23rd of August, 2022. My name is Pam DeFelice, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. This service is streamed live every weekday morning, except in the summer, which is almost over, um, at nine o'clock, exclusively on Zoom. To participate in the live service, go to goodshiponline.org, select the worship drop-down list, and click on prayer. Scroll down and you will find the service leaflet for today's service. Just look for today's date. Immediately above the service leaflets, there is an image of prayer books in the pew. Click on the link to join via Zoom. This service will be available beginning at 10 a.m. on all of Good Shepherd's communication channels, Facebook, YouTube, and the prayer page of goodsheponline.org. So good morning to my joiners. We have Joan, Ian, Kathy, and Wendy. I'm so happy to see you all. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what, have, what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Today we say the Jubilate together. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God and he himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Today we will say Psalm 5 and 6 together. Psalm number 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken to my cry for help my King and my God, for I make my prayer to you. 
In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal and watch for you. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, and evil cannot dwell with you. Braggarts cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies, the bloodthirsty and deceitful, O Lord, you abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will go into your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouth. There is destruction in their heart. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Declare, declare them guilty, O Lord. Let them fall up because of their schemes. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But all who take refuge in you will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exalt in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. You will defend them with your favor as with a shield. Psalm 6. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are wrecked. My spirit shakes with terror. How long, O oh Lord, how long? Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me for your mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you. And who will give you thanks in the grave? I grow weary because of my groaning. Every night I drench my bed and flood my couch with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all evildoers, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be confounded and quake with fear. They shall turn back and suddenly be put to shame. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Today's first lesson is from Job. Various um, portions of chapter six. Then Job answered, Oh, that my vexation were weighed and all my calamity laid in the balances, for then it would be heavier than the sand of the sea. Therefore, my words have been rash, for the arrows of the Almighty are in me. My spirit drinks their poison. The terrors of God are arrayed against me. Oh, that I might have my request and that God would grant my desire that it would please God to crush me, that he would let loose his hand and cut me off. This would be my consolation. I would even exult in unrelenting pain, for I have not denied the words of the Holy One. What is my strength that I should wait? And what is my end that I should be patient? In my strength, the strength of stones, or is my flesh bronze? In truth, I have no help in me, and any resource is driven from me. Those who withhold kindness from a friend forsake the fear of the Almighty. My companions are treacherous, like a torrent bed, like fresh freshets that pass away. Such you have now become to me. You see my calamity. 
and are afraid. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord, for he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second lesson is from John chapter 6. Verses 60 through 71. When many of his disciples heard Jesus' teaching, they said, this teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you, there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, for this reason, I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the 12, do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, did I not choose you, the 12, yet one of you is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, for he, though one of the 12, was going to betray him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will say, you are God together. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only son were worthy of all worship and the Holy Spirit advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death 
and open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your mercy, love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The Collect of the Day, Proper 16. Grant, O merciful God, that your church, being gathered together in unity by your Holy Spirit, may show forth your power among all peoples to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And today, we commemorate Rose of Lima, the first saint of the Americas, 1617. Merciful God, you sent your gospel to the people of Peru through Rosa de Lima, who worked among the poorest of the poor. Help us to follow her example in, in bringing fearlessly the comfort of your grace to all downtrodden and outcast people that your church may be renewed with songs of salvation and praise through Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for Grace. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to fulfilling your, of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for protection. Assist us mercifully, O Lord, 
in these our supplications and prayers and dispose the way of your servants toward the attainment of everlasting salvation that among all the changes and chances of this mortal life, they may ever be defended by your gracious and ready help. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Western Mexico. The right, the Reverend Ricardo Joel Gomez Asanya, Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of the Dominican Republic, the Right Reverend Moses Quezada Mota, Bishop. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them. Remembering today especially Judy and family, Shirley, Robert, Ray, Connie and family, Aidan, Dave, Dave and Marion, Fran and Charlie, we pray also for our Connect Ministries, remembering especially Summer Sunday Cafe, that our various ministries may collaborate to make breakfast that allows summer fellow worship fellowship for our members and our parish picnic that Good Shepherd may begin its program year with an occasion of fun and fellowship. The Good Shepherd Parish Prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, make our parish of Good Shepherd truly a community of prayer and belonging. Raise up in our midst the resources and leadership which will enable us to act upon what you would have us do in this place and in a ministry of love and concern for others. Open my mind and heart to discern what you would have me do through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. And Ian says, we have Thanksgiving for a productive vestry retreat this past weekend. And Thanksgiving for so many wonderful teenagers and their families that will participate in confirmation. That's so good. I would like to say a prayer for someone in our parish that is very sick. O oh, Father of mercies and God of all comfort, our only help in time of need, we humbly beseech thee to behold, visit and relieve thy sick servant, Susan, for whom our prayers are desired. Look upon her with the, with the eyes of thy mercy, comfort her, with a sense of thy goodness, preserve her from the temptations of the enemy and give her patience under her affliction. In thy good time, restore her, restore her to health and enable her to lead the residue of her life in thy, 
in thy fear and to thy glory and grant that finally she may dwell with thee in life everlasting through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Sorry, I'm emotional. Yes, prayers for Father Derek and his family as they recover from COVID-19. I know when I first heard, I thought it was um, just Bear. So I sent Bear a card to get well. I hope they all shared it. <laughs> and it was Bear's birthday this past Saturday. I hope he had a happy one. They are strong and young and they have God. Yes, that's right, Ian. Happy birthday. I forgot. I'm sorry. That's wonderful. What a special weekend you had. <laughs> yes. Oh, to turn seven again. I, I wouldn't mind turning 60 again, actually. But <laughs> that's sweet. Let us say the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us all with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all for participating with me today. I'm wishing you all a happy day. And remember, always be kind. It's good for the soul. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>